Hello students, this is Poonam teacher back with a new video of general science and in this video I will be teaching you solutions and its various types. So I already gave you certain information about the types of mixtures in my last video or the types of solution that is homogeneous mixture which consists of uniform or one phase and heterogeneous mixture will have different phases or more than one phase. So this is how the solution is and solution is made up of two main components that is solvent and solute. Solvent is the major part of the solution while solute is the minor part of the solution. Solvent is that substance in which the solute will be dissolved. So then it will result into formation of a solution. The process of forming a solution is by mixing solutes in a solvent is known as dissolution. For example, in my last video or in my previous video, I taught you the formation of the salt solution. So there salt was the solute and water was the solvent. And then I dissolved salt slowly into the water. So that was the process of dissolution. That means when solute dissolves into a solvent, that process is known as dissolution. Now there are various types of solutions depending upon the state of its medium. So it can be liquid in liquid, it can be gas in gas, it can be solid in solid and that all things we are going to learn in detail. So if you take vinegar which is already liquid and if you are dissolving it into water. So dil dilution or dissolution of vinegar will be a type of liquid and liquid mixture. And here vinegar will be solute and water will be the solvent because water will be in greater quantity as compared to vinegar. So vinegar will be solute, water will be solvent. It will form a solution, dilute solution of vinegar by the process of dissolution and it is going to be the example of liquid and liquid solution. If you consider gas and gas, you can take the perfect example of air because air is a mixture of gases. Various gases are mixed together. So this is the perfect example of gas and gas solution or gas and gas mixture. Then you can move towards solid and solid mixture and the best example is alloys because alloys are the mixture of metals. Metals are solid. So if you take brass, brass is the mixture of copper and zinc. Copper is a metal, solid in state. And as well as zinc is also a metal, solid in state. So when both will mix together, that is going to be the solid in solid mixture. Then gas and liquid example chlorinated water or hydrochloric acid now hydrochloric acid how the formation of hydrochloric acid will take place if hydrogen chloride gas is there that is hcl that is dissolved into water it will result into formation of hydrochloric acid so this is going to be the example of gas and liquid, liquid mixture or chlorinated water that means chlorine gas will be passed into water it will be dissolving into water so this is going to be the example of gas and liquid solution or gas and liquid mixture you can also take example of oxygen when dissolves into water that is also gas and liquid mixture or carbon dioxide gas gets dissolved into water that is also an example of gas and liquid mixture or gas and liquid solution the composition of homogeneous mixture that is to say solution is uniform throughout the bulk and i taught you that homogeneous mixture will have only one phase that means it will have a uniform phase and if solvent is transparent liquid the solution is also going to be transparent and it passes through a filter paper now uh, you can just imagine that if a filter paper is there and if you are trying to filtering the salt solution the homogeneous mixture will be having the one phase so it, the salty water will be filtered through the filter paper and in the filter you will obtain the salty water again because salt has completely dissolved into the water but on the other hand if you are taking soil and you are making a muddy water 
you will find that all the mud will be collected on the filter paper as a residue and all the water will come out of the filter paper or it will be filtered out from the filter paper and will be obtained as a filtrate so th th these are the things which are going to happen and now in next video we shall study suspension and collide which are the type of heterogeneous mixture so that we are going to study into next video